And as a result, uh, you can see a sample of my rig uh, here in Maya uh, that is very like plausibly uh, represents the original 4D animation. And then at every frame of, uh, of the sequence, you can go and also like modify it. And this is a sample of modification. And th as you can see, it's quite isolated. And those, uh, even though this like, um, like learnable layer uh, blend shapes are fixed here, it still allows me to basically change the animation quite plausibly. And the effect of this learnable layer, you can see here, if we look at some expression, and now I'm turning this off and on, and you can see that it's a small difference, it's the same expression, but it adds an extra layer of fidelity to every expression, and uh, an extra layer of kind of dramatism to each expression. And uh, the last bit uh, that I wanted to discuss here is, uh, Basically, we now have a tool that allows us to process unlimited number of data effortlessly. And this is a great source of training data for neural nets because it's so easy to get. And one of the applications and one of the upcoming tools that we are working right now is the tool that allows us to take an audio of uh, somebody speaking and to convert it into a um, uh, rec animation. And uh, what we did, we basically captured, uh, we capture one hour of performance of an actor performing multiple like monologues in different intonations, different, uh, different styles. And we trained the neural net to like produce a rig animation for this. And I'm gonna demonstrate how it works in, in the software. So I just drag and drop a audio file and I plug it to the neural net that is called narrator. You all know what this feels like, living with something you can't change. Something you wish you'd done differently. Right now, this isn't about me or even about winning. It's about you never having to wonder years from now what could have happened if you'd given everything. You've got five minutes to decide how you'll remember this day. And so every frame of the sequence, we can go and create uh, a note and modify uh, the animation in this frame. Because the result of the neural net is basically a set of weights of every blend shapes. And you can export these weights and you can import them into like Maya or Game Engine if needed. And they can change it. And here is another example of uh, my face. Who said that? Step forward, Cupcake! What? Your bravery only comes out when you're scribbling on the bathroom wall about how badass you are and how you'd straighten me out? I'll sniff you out by the smell of your fear. And when I find you, you'll be doing push-ups until the earth becomes flat again and dinosaurs start running across it. Show yourself. I can hear you breathing out there. Stop hiding. Step out. Come on. You think I'm afraid of you? I know you're there. Stop hiding and come out. Do you hear me? You think I'm scared of you? Jess, is that you? Yeah, and the next sample is pretty, uh, pretty interesting because we took performance of Charlotte Copley and you will see side-by-side -side comparison of his original performance versus uh, the uh, narrator result. Yeah, let's start. Okay, let's start, yeah. Ooh, tap the spoons. Okay, blink, turn right, yeah. Dance, monkey, dance. Woohoo! Let's take this out of our ear first. Get a little comfortable. Okay. Oh my God! Let's just go through some emotion. <laughs> so here we go. Right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to my show. I'm a professional presenter, and I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about the new video game OTG. That's right. Off the grid stars a wonderful cast. The other thing that happens is sometimes. Uh, well, I can get a little, uh, little misty, a little, uh, I wouldn't say misty as such. I just, I sometimes struggle to express myself in, in ways that, that uh, to. So, uh, 
this is how it works. And we also, what we also can do is basically, aside from just having a one hour of my training data, we can capture like say 10 minutes more of me performing in some specific style. For example, acting like a zombie, acting like a cowboy, I don't know, acting smiley. And uh, we can fine tune the system to act in this specific smile, uh, like uh, style. And here you can see an example of this. You all know what this feels like, living with something you can't change. Something you wish you'd done differently. Right now, this isn't about me or even about winning. It's about you never having to wonder years from now what could have happened if you'd given everything. You've got five minutes to decide how you'll remember this day. And believe me, there's nothing heavier than the burden of knowing you had the chance to rewrite your story and didn't. Yeah, so uh, that's the current state of this tool and we have a lot a long way to go uh, and I really want to integrate the like gaze direction, the head movement and like a lot a lot of work uh, to be done but it seems like interesting to me this direction and that concludes you that concludes my presentation and uh, we have 15 minutes uh, for questions and also you can find us at our booth at expo floor number 1169 and you can see our like HMC and tries try these solutions. Thank you.